Hello again and welcome to Gay Visit Castles. This week we've come somewhere pretty special because not only are we exploring the castle, we're going to be staying in it for the night and it just so happens to be Britain's most haunted castle. We've travelled to just below the Scottish border to Northumberland and this is Chilliam Castle. Chillingham Castle was originally a fortified manor house with a tower and a curtain wall. The site was strategically important because it borders England and Scotland. It was often used as a staging post for the English armies as they entered into Scotland. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this courtyard. I can't believe we're actually here, mate. I've been wanting to come to this castle for such a long time and we're finally here. It's a bit windy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the big This tower is the oldest part of Chilliam Castle. This is the castle's original tower. And soon after this was built, it progressed into this four towered walled fortress with this central courtyard. Now the de Grays that lived here and built this castle would have also used this courtyard to protect its cavalry garrison during times of attack and the de Grays would have gone out and patrolled the lawless border between here and Scotland. Do you know what I really like about this courtyard? And I've literally only just twigged what these are. These statues here are the Nine Worthies. Who are the Nine Worthies? They were Nine personages, uh, sort of historical, scriptural, legendary figures, and they personified the idea of chivalry in the yeah. Middle Ages. I haven't got a clue which ones these are. You've got figures such as Charlemagne, King Arthur, King David. I don't know who these guys are. These are really, really worn, and there's only seven of them. Uh, but they're really cool to see yeah. in real life. Never seen them before. They've all got pretty angry faces beneath each figure, haven't they? They're, 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 awesome. they're, they're super, they are. On top of this tower, the castle's original tower, we can find the Edward I room. This is where King Edward I stayed en route to the Battle of Falkirk, and we're going to be going up there shortly. And that is said to be one of the most haunted parts of Chilean Castle. Are you scared yet? No, I'm dead excited. Let's, Let's get up go. there. Let's go and check it out. Look at it, this is it. Is this it? That the first room? Yeah, this is where he was, this is where he stayed, this is where he Check this at. out, this is awesome. This is amazing, look, we've got his throne area over here, probably not his original throne, but it's where he sat. This is fantastic. Amazing. Look at this walkway, so this walkway would have probably been used by <coughs> Edward the First guards, look after him, make sure he's safe. That's cool that it's still there, it gives you a real feeling of what it was actually like at the time, how it was set up. You feel how ancient it is in here. Yeah, really, really old. What, sort of 1290s, wasn't it, it was put up for him? In 1296, Edward I sacked the town of Berwick in retaliation for the Scots refusing to acknowledge Edward as their king and also because they'd allied themselves with the French, who Edward was naturally at war with as well. William Wallace retaliated by sacking the English border towns. Chillingham Castle was the perfect place for Edward to plan his counter-attack, which he did right here in this very room. Are you uh, feeling the hauntedness at all? No, I feel really excited and happy and enthusiastic. I love this room, this is it's definitely beautiful. It's definitely got a feel about it though, this room, hasn't it? I think it's definitely got oh, for me, it's a spooky just a feel about really it. really excited sure. about this room. As well as this room being used for Edward to plan his counter-attacks, it also houses the original licence to crenellate. It was granted to Thomas de Heaton in 1344, 
by Edward III and it's the only licence that's still in its castle of origin. The thing I like most about this room is that when you look at the brickwork, you can see the changes to the castle over time. So you've got what was a fireplace and it's been knocked through and it's been turned into yeah. a window. You've got the original entrance to the castle that's now been bricked up. You've now got a front door to make it look like a stately home. You can, it's got a very rustic feel to it as well, hasn't it? Yeah. This great hall. Yeah, and you definitely. clearly see features such as that arrow loop up there, uh, which indicates at one point in time, this was the outside of the castle yeah, as well. Yeah, it's just been added on, hasn't it? Let's go and have an explore down here. Oh, I think we've got the chapel this way. Where does this go? In 1246, the site was placed into the hands of the Grey family to guard the English border. It's draft in here, isn't it? What a little corridor this is. You know, open up that door and see what's on the other side. How amazing does that door sound? <laughs> yeah, not if you're the person being thrown in here. So is, it, is this a dungeon then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's tiny, it's freezing, it sucks. It's cramped, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. It's amazing. Check this it's out. Ceiling. Oh, let me get in. Oh. A, that's an oubliette. I heard uh, children have got one. That is, that is a proper oubliette. Look at the... Are those bones? They are bones. Nice. Look at the drop down there. Yeah, I don't think that's a pit to be forgotten. That is the pit of death if you go down there, isn't once, it? Once you're going down there, you are not you're going to die. Back again, are you? No, look how far it is. You see the markings on the wall as well. They're clearly defined here, and then as the days go by, these scratchings get weaker and weaker. See here as well, yeah, look, and really, weaker. really deep, and then by the time you get sort of here, they're they probably just trailing off. at their tether's end and they die. It's Sense freezing in here as well. <laughs> it's a horrible place, isn't it? Imagine being in here alone. Doesn't it sound of Shiver up your spy. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Doesn't bear thinking about, it, does it? Torture chamber, Joe. Oh wow. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff in here. Look at what's this? <laughs> that. Is this an Iron Maiden? Is an Iron Maiden. Come and look at these spikes, top to bottom. Got. It's a proper real one. Yeah. That's, That's barbaric. Just, it is, it is. But there's every instrument of torture in here. And I gather, though, that this was originally like an undercroft to the castle. It's not the original torture chamber at all, is it? That was kind of further over that way on the castle. Yeah. But these were the kind of devices that, that were being used. used at the time. And they've got a lot of them. Oh Loads God. of them. I've no idea. Oh, press? Is it a press? It is a press. So you'd, been, you'd have been put underneath the press and slowly subjected yeah, to more, yeah. more pressure or more stones or whatever being put on top of nice. and slowly crushed into that. Nice. This is horrific, isn't it? Yeah, this is horrible. They're pretty cool, though. It, it is cool as well. <laughs> You've got gibbet cages. Yep, and our skeleton's missing a head. Everything in here is real. Everything You've seen in this here as well, Wheel of Death. Spikes all over it. Or it could it? be some kind of water wheel you're attached to the 
spikes and then the wheel went round and round and you continuously went underwater and slowly drowned. Nice, nice, that was lovely, What's ideal. This? Look at this guy here. What have we got here? What's all this? We've got the Chillingham Witch. Ah, the Chillingham Witch? Yes. Tell me of the Chillingham Witch. Oh, Chillingham Witch. If you take anything from this castle, you will be cursed with bad luck thanks to her. Okay. And these are a collection of letters from people that have borrowed, accidentally removed. I, yeah, just like that doorknob that accidentally fell off into somebody's bag. They then had loads of bad luck, returned it to the castle, and apparently all their bad luck's gone away. So I think it's pretty safe to say that do not steal any items from Chillingham Castle. I wasn't planning on doing, no. Otherwise, bad things will happen. They definitely will. When King James VI of Scotland also became King James I of England, Lord Ralph Grey of Chillingham acted as a go-between to help ensure a smooth transition to the throne. Now that the kingdoms were united, Chillingham entered a much more peaceful period in its history, with King James even staying here at the castle. Chillingham Castle. If you're thinking of spending the night in a castle, or maybe even having a short break in a real medieval castle, then Chillingham Castle is definitely the place for you to come. The gardens are spectacular, aren't they? They are, and if you're in a ghost and that sort of thing, this is the place to come ghost hunting. The amount of stories that we've hear, heard, even from the staff that work here as well, from things that they've seen and experienced, if that's your thing, this is the place to be coming. And there are seven self-catering apartments which you can stay in. We stayed in one called The Grey, which is in the proper medieval part of the castle, and it is fantastic. It is absolutely stunning. It's a completely unique experience as well, isn't it? The apartment you're staying in is like nothing you'd ever find in a hotel, and you're in a castle. You can't get better than that. And I can safely say I will definitely be coming to visit again very, very soon. Me too. We've had an amazing time here today. We definitely recommend that you come and visit and stay for the night as well, maybe too. Uh, if you've enjoyed this though, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for Bye. now.